गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अ सोशल सैंस टीचर पारमित दे उ हाव अलरेडी स्टार्टेड आवार चैप्टार आवार एनवायरमेंट सो ले स्टार्ट द सेकेंड टपिक अफ दिस चैप्टार आवार चैप्टार आवार एनवायरमेंट टूडे वी आर गोयिंग टू डिसकस दिस्टेम It is a system formed by the interactions of all living organisms with each other and with the physical and chemical factors of the environment in which they live. All plants, animals, and human beings depend on each other and on the immediate surroundings of natural environment. there could be different ecosystems in different environments like deserts mountains dense forests grasslands rivers oceans and even in ponds before starting ecosystem at first we have to know there are different types of living organisms that interact with each other that is known as ecosystems and these can be divided into three categories number 1 producers number 2 consumers and number 3 decomposers decomposers so what is producers actually producers are the green plants they make their own food the consumers are animals and they get their energy from the plants or from other organisms which eat plants and third one is decomposers decomposers are the organisms like bacteria and fungi that break down dead plants and animals into organic material that go back to soil and that is where the cycle restarts you can see the various ecosystem if we discuss about river ecosystem just see here is a picture of river ecosystem just uh, take an example in a lake ecosystem the sunlight which falls on the water helps the growth of algae this algae produces oxygen for animals like fish frogs etc and provides food for microscopic animals fish eat the microscopic organisms and absorb oxygen with their gills and expel carbon dioxide which helps growth of plants and if the algae disappeared everything else would be affected microorganisms would not have enough food fish would not have enough oxygen and plants would have lesser carbon dioxide available which is necessary for their growth ecosystem an ecosystem is a system formed by the interactions of all living organisms with each other with their environment through transfer of energy and material i have discussed few seconds ago what is ecosystem and in other words you can say it refers to a community of plants and animals within a particular physical environment which is linked by a flow of materials to the non living as well as the living section of the system all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings they are interdependent on each other also now have a look this picture kerala and rajasthan differences in ecosystems that is why kerala with heavy downpour has lash green fields you can see in this picture there is a picture of lash green fields and coconut plantation you can see the coconut trees elephants and other animals whereas just look at the other pictures this is a picture of rajasthan whereas the rajasthan it doesn't rain much you know because 
because of too much heat there is a kicker and sand everywhere also it has camels snakes lizards etc in this way we find that the animals the vegetation and the way people live vary from place to place this shows that they are related to each other secondly plant and animals depend on each other let's discuss on this topic we know the well that plants and animals depend on each other animals depend on plants for their food also plants provide oxygen to animals to breathe in this keep the environment clean and provide shelter to animals on the other side we can say animals provide co2 or carbon dioxide which plants use for making their food similarly dead and decaying animals provide nutrients for plants to grow understood secondly we'll discuss about the features of ecosystems number 1 huge rainforests grasslands deserts hills mountains oceans rivers lakes ponds etc can form an ecosystem an ecosystem can be permanent or temporary an ecosystem can be natural or artificial a natural ecosystem is created by nature itself while artificial ecosystem is created by human beings rainforest deserts ponds rivers are the examples of natural ecosystem can you identify this picture yes this aquarium is an example of artificial ecosystem now i am going to discuss the most important thing because we are going we are reading the chapter uh, our environment so it is very related that 5th june it is known as world environment day it is the day that stimulates awareness of the environment and enhances political attention and public action to it the first world environment day was celebrated on 5th june 1973 just memorize try to memorize the date and year uh, 5th june 1973 it is celebrated year with a different theme next topic of this chapter man made or human environment this includes changes and modification of natural environment made by human beings it shows the activities creations and interactions among human beings we find that not everything around us is the gift of nature but many things such as roads bridges parks industries furniture books etc are human creations humans have created this components by modifying the natural environment they create such things by using their skills to satisfy their needs the second topic of this chapter that human beings and environment so let's start human beings like other animals interact with nature and their surroundings environment since historic times like the birds used to wings and straw to build their nest human also started using things of nature for their comfort and need that's why thousands of years back humans lived simple lives like wild animals we have read earlier about that and they used animal skins and trees barks to cover themselves from rain and cold gradually day by day the invention of the wheel and the steam engine 
revolutionized industry subsequently the invention of electricity radio transformed the way people could work any time of the day and communicate over long distances and with the passing of time day by day more inventions they developed complex systems to help store food transport food and material trade communicate across the world at a much faster place that is how the world is sometimes also called a global village Along with that, due to increase of human needs, industrial revolution, emerge of new trade, commerce people began to exploit natural resources. And who are responsible for that? Yes, we are responsible for that. And as a result, we know global warming. The temperature is increased day by day. That is known as global warming and this is only one example of disturbance in the balanced state of our environment have a look in this picture these are the causes of global warming the smoke that comes out from factories the smoke comes out or released from motor vehicles cars the agriculture and animal farming and the main important point that is deforestation these are the causes of global warming lastly our environment what we should do to protect our mother environment a perfect balance between the natural and human environment is necessary humans should be aware of their duty to maintain the environmental stability and balance they must learn to live and use their environment in a judicious way if we want to protect our environment so we have already completed this chapter we have completed the ecosystem the most important topic of this chapter we have read also the world environment day that is on 5th june we have read the man made human environment and human beings and environment the relation between human beings and environment and lastly how we will protect our mother environment so for today up to this stay home stay safe thank you